How's it going? Good. How about you? It's good. How are you? I'm doing I'm well. Good. I'm good. I'm glad you're here. I'm so excited. Me too. So, like, when I actually, I was driving to Atlanta a couple weeks ago, and I played your album through, and this is before I knew I was interviewing you. I was like, this album, Rise, you deserve a Grammy nomination. Oh, it's thank an you. amazing album. I love it so much. And just the title is super relatable, whether we're in relationships, friendships, business relationships, everything at some point was good until it wasn't. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really love it. And also, I was just like, how does she know my life to write these songs? But yeah, you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. But yeah, so the album dropped May 8th, and you shot your own album cover, which I think is amazing. But my question to you is, so like, did the rollout change? Because on the back of the album, it's you, but it looks like the world is kind of ending. So yeah. was that the original plan for it, or did the quarantine change it? Um, No, we definitely didn't have the original plan for it. Um, Actually, one of my best friends, Bree, shot the cover. I just directed the cover um, and then we edited it together, but yeah, we had a really crazy rollout plan, super crazy ideas, like, just like, like the, it was mapped out, like we had, we had every single thing ready to shoot, we were ready to go, and then it's like the week of, shooting, Life happened. you know, it happened, um, so we just had to kind of like take it into our own hands and like decide what we were going to do, and it came to being like, okay, Rethink, drag back to the drawing board and how we can, you know, do it ourselves. So, and that was awesome. So, like, you from the cover to the videos, like, what's it like being in the director's chair? Is it something you were doing before the quarantine, or did the quarantine force you into the, the director's chair? Before the quarantine, I'd always like conceptualize my own videos, but then I would hand it off to like a director and I'd be like, okay, so I'm thinking this, but like, I don't really know much about like actual that, like, the act of directing to be able to feel like I'm giving, like I would give myself a title like that, you know? Right. Um, or feel comfortable taking that entire thing on myself. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but it just, it became a necessity and that a necessity became something super beautiful and we're gonna keep going with it and just see how it goes, you know? So seeing other female uh, directors that you even work with, like Tiana Taylor, was that yeah. inspiring to like see her on set and direct her videos yeah. and things like that? Yeah, I mean, not even just that, but her whole team, the entire environment that she created was super, like, I, I was I was talking about it the whole night after the video, after we finished and wrapped it up. It was like, not only is she incredible and like having a, like a female director who really understands how it is being a woman on set and being able to like have to bring that this like element out of yourself and like mm -hmm. she facilitated mm -hmm. such an incredible like room for that she's so talented and then she had this really talented really professional really warm really epic team of women who was just like I feel like this is the best that I ever been on like I hope all my sets go like this it was that's just awesome agility and just like it was sweet I loved it that's awesome. Just to see, like, women encourage each other and just be empowering with each other like that. Yeah. But, so, you were recently featured on the cover of Vessel. You looked gorgeous. You looked amazing. You. But I must say, your daughter stole the show. So, what, <laughs> what is it like um, being a mother now? So, like, has that changed your the way you look at things or the way you create now? Absolutely. It, um... It just makes me look at everything with a bigger picture type of eye, like what's most important and what isn't important and really made a huge impact on like what's what I feel like isn't important. It made everything a lot more clear on like what I have time for, what I have energy for, what I can, you know, things like that. Um, and yeah, you just take it into the studio with you, the confidence, the newfound sexiness, like the newfound comfortability, like it, 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 it she affects everything I do. But music, it definitely, I think it showed. Aw, she's so cute. I must say, sign I love your hair. It looks really good. Thank you. New look. I love the curls. Yeah, but, like, you. a lot of your life plays out online. You've been in the industry for such a long time. And even in your skit that uh, you have, uh, she belongs to the streets. So, like, even with all this going on, how do you still protect your mental health? Because at the end of that, that's the most important thing. So, like, just being in the midst of everything, how do you protect that? I think I've always combated those type of things with gratitude I just really count my blessings and I just go you know I really remember when my biggest issue in life was oh my god like 
I don't know where I'm going to sleep. I don't know where I'm going to eat, what I'm going to eat. I don't know how I'm going to take care of myself. I'm watching my family struggle. I don't know how they're going to, you know, when they're ever going to be relieved of this. And now what a blessing it is that my biggest worry someday is like, oh, my God, people I don't know don't like me. Right. Or like, oh, my God, people are talking about me online. I had to really sit back and be like, is this what I'm going to let get me so far out of myself and take me into a place of, like, not loving, like, not counting my blessings, not being right. grateful, not showing up for work, everybody support my family, because this you know what I'm saying? Which mm -hmm. if I told myself when I was 17 years old, you know, one day people are going to talk about you online. She'd be like, what does your house look like, though? Did you, is your mom's bills paid? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you have a, how's your health? How's your, how's your, you have a kid? How's your kid? You know? Right. So I really just try to, like, you know, focus on that. That's awesome. And that's really when you have to think, a lot of times we don't think about the bigger picture or just take it one day at a time. So that's very important. But you always use your platform to advocate, whether it be for Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ plus community, or the sex workers. Because in your recent video, Can I, um, you use your platform. So, like, what was the process for selecting the girls and just saying, I want to just do this for this video? Because I love the video. I really do. Thank you. Well, I, I got suggestions. Honestly, I asked people. I was just like, really? Oh. Yeah, I was like, and there was also this article on Billboard that sex workers speaking out and I was like okay of like what's going on and who's like actually these conversations if so I hit my friend up and I was like yo as in, as someone who's in the sex worker industry like like can you give me some insight on some girls like who would be down and just make it extra inclusive and they were like yeah as long as it's super inclusive I was like yeah like make sure you know what I'm saying yeah, and yeah. They they really they were the biggest help for that for that project. Their name's Deshaun, and they actually gave me the quote that's at the end of the video. So y'all should definitely go check them out and support them. An incredible writer. Um, but yeah, so we pick, we picked the girls, and they just sent in their own footage, and I just got to like actually react to like watching them, and like I was just happy. It felt like this big celebratory, just like love fest of like really sexy, beautiful women. So. It absolutely was. It really was. So when um I was posted that I was interviewing you, all these mini men's is just, oh my God, Kehlani, I love her so much. Please tell Kehlani I love her. If she wants to date you, let me know. So if you are dating Kehlani, what type of man gets your attention? What are, what are you looking for? Well, I mean... What type of any person? I don't think I'm exclusive to men at oh, all. Excuse me. What type of um, any person are you looking for? Well, those are just ones who are in my DMs. But what are, what oh, are you yeah. looking for exclusively? Um, I require a certain level of, like, confidence because I'm in a position where you have to have a lot of confidence to deal with me. Um, Just because I'm in an industry. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, people are always going to be saying stuff to me that might, you know, seem crazy all the time. Um, I think, I mean, I'm a, I'm a mom. So honestly, you have to be, it's about my daughter. If my daughter likes you, but I can't introduce everyone to my daughter. So I have to wait until, you know, things seem, you know, like they're worthy of that. Um, I, you have to almost, you might gotta be a parent. <laughs> you really understand right. children and like, cause you're about to be entering a situation where you might become part of my family. So, um, and just like, I love when someone's really themselves and I hate feeling like I'm with somebody who's performing all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, hate that. So I, I tend to run into that a lot. I feel like, um, I and that's what, that's what stops me from like uh, getting into a lot of situations that get, end up presented to me. Cause I'm just like, who are you? Like, mm -hmm. what, what is this? You know, so there's a lot <laughs> what of do you want from I me? think those are, those are my favorites. Okay, guys, so to those who are in my inbox, you have your question answered, so then there's that. But also, so for the deluxe album that I'm super excited about, because first of all, it was just already great as it was, so I'm excited about the deluxe, so do you have a date for it already? I don't have a date. Yet. Are there songs that are done? Because I, I feel like, you know, I'm trying to be nosy. Are songs done? Are there, is there? Oh, any yeah, there's, a, there's a couple of songs done. There. I mean, one, I mean, yeah, there was, there's new features. There's, um, I feel like there's a, it, it's sounding more fun. 
Okay. Um, I, think, I think I was so in my feelings and I went and now I'm like not in my feelings. <laughs> so I just I'm having more fun again and I'm just like going to try to incorporate that um, into the deluxe. So I think I feel like it'll be like a, it'll add a new life to it, you know. Awesome. Well, I know you probably can't tell me the features, but how many features could we possibly expect? So far, I have three. Okay. Four. I'm excited for that one. And last thing, because like I said, I was poking around on your G. Oh, on your GQ, and I saw that you um I left my game in the other room, but the end game, and I was really excited to saw that I you had that, that because game. I have it too, and I was just like, oh my god, I thought I was the only person. I like fell victim to the Instagram ads, but I really liked the game, so it was really good. I enjoyed it. So I was just like, oh my god, I love those it's games. So good, it's, it's so really fun. good. Like, I'm like, this is some deep stuff. Like it, it's really deep, and I saw you have like the family and friends. I need to get that got, like, relationship every edition version. I need to get them all. <laughs> I need to get them all. I love it. Okay. And with the quarantine, I mean, it's just so much time. So with the quarantine being here, have you discovered like any new hobbies? I know photography and videography probably was one of them. But what's something new that you discovered that you like to do? Oh, man. Um, I mean, but I ride a bike. I mean, I, that's not new, though. I right. was riding a bike in high school. I had this fixie bike I was obsessed with that I went back, you know, back and forth from school with a lot in, like, 11th grade. Um, and now, like, I'm back on a bike again, and it's just, like, this really beautiful moment of just, like, I get to be with myself and just, like, get some breathe and, like, listen to some music and also exercise at the same time. So it's been nice to be back on my bike. Absolutely awesome. And... Are you going to get any more tattoos? Is there room for more tattoos? I actually have so much room, contrary to popular belief. My, <laughs> my, whole, my whole back is empty. My legs are still pretty empty. I mean, I'll just take it as it goes. I don't really have a plan. I'm just... Just going as it. I'm going to get one. You. <laughs> I feel that. But, Kaylani, I appreciate you so much for taking out the time. You're going... Really quick, what is your skincare routine? Because your skin oh. is gorgeous. Like it is well, amazing. I have I have foundation on right now. Um and like a filter that just relaxes the face. Um <laughs> but really I just I I tend to get dry, so I'd be over moisturizing. Like at least that's why you see like the the shine. But I just moisturize heavily. Like I put layers of like high like hydrating your skin looks bomb though. Thank you. And I also do have a foundation as well. But thank I'm you because like, I've been drinking water and minding my business. <laughs> And there we go. And minding your business. That works. That that works. It, it works a lot. So much less stress. Mind just minding your own business saves a lot of time. I love it. Listen, but I appreciate you so much. You're beautiful inside and out. The album is amazing. I cannot wait to hear the deluxe. I'm super excited about it. And thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me on. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great day, Kaylani. You too. Bye. Bye.